Hi guys. My name's Richard McCann and I was invited down to Ingleby Barwick Golf Academy to go and speak to Craig Donaldson about low back pain and golfers. He has, seems to have a few clients at the moment that seem to be suffering with that type of condition. However, what I would turn around and say is what we've got to be careful of is if your client has experienced any saddle anaesthesia or any problems with their bladders and bowels, they do need to go and speak to their GP or even head to a &E. That's discussed a little bit later on. It was a windy day today, but still nice and fresh up there, and we had a good conversation. Let's see where it takes us. What we're really interested in is what's called non-specific lower back pain, which is something that happens, it's back pain that you've had for more than three months and there's no reason why you should have it. It's sometimes referred to as idiopathic. So if you hear that before, it doesn't mean you're an idiot. It just means that there's no specific reason why you should have lower back pain. And what would we do with, uh, with regards to pain management for, for lower back pain? The key thing is exercise. Uh, exercise interventions are recommended in the United States, in the UK and across Europe. You do feel like you need to take some pain meds. The important thing is to go and see your pharmacist, to go and see your GP first. There's nothing wrong with taking pain meds. We do that a lot to encourage movement. But the key word there, or the key phrase is, we're using our pain meds to encourage movement. Remember guys, low back pain is really common. 80% plus of us are likely to experience it at some point. So Craig said to me he'd really like to know a little bit more about what posture positions to look out for that could irritate lower back pain. It's a bit windy out there so I've had to do a voiceover instead of just recording what I actually said because unfortunately the audio was a little bit poor. Postural education is something that we use in low back pain quite a lot. Here I am demonstrating if the client's bent over a little bit too much. It's even uncomfortable for me. Remember, we need to free up the pelvis in order to allow the torso to move. So we do this by pointing our toes out or externally rotating our feet. In the follow through you might see a little bit too much hyperextension which is likely to cause a bit of pain and even hurt me a bit. And this is a case where we've got a little bit too much lateral flexion, even I felt it. But again, um, benefits, obviously benefits of playing golf. Benefits of playing golf, massive, absolutely huge. We're going to burn somewhere in the region of 600 to 1000 calories per round of golf. We're going to walk somewhere between three to four miles every time we play 18 holes. So those last two, divide them by two if we're playing nine holes. The only thing I would say, ladies, unfortunately, is because your, your golf course is a little bit shorter than the yellows and the whites, you may not burn quite as many calories and you may not might walk quite as far, but that doesn't mean it's not worth doing. So is there any areas of concern that we should be worried about with regards to all that pain? Not really. I'd go back to what I said earlier on, is if someone's experienced some major changes around bladder and bowel function, or if the pain has moved from from one place to the other, that's when you really need to be seeking help. If a golfer's going to hurt themselves while swinging, it's probably due to biomechanical efficiencies and that's when you need to speak to someone like yourself or your own physio. However, what I'd also turn around and say is that chronic cases of golf injury are more likely to occur during practice rather than, what, rather than during playing. And that's because there's a break between each swing. You'll have seen it on the driving range where people are just beating balls like it's going out of fashion. If you've got lower back pain or any any pain that's aggravated by your golf swing, you need to make sure you manage your practice properly. This is where you're going to speak to someone like you and think about, well, how can I manage an hour or 90 balls worth of practice effectively? Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, during the off season, anything that uh, the golfers can look at, you know? Loads, loads. Think about what the professional guys do. They rarely have an off season, but what I would turn around and say for you guys in the UK or where you have a reasonable winter, think about things like Pilates and yoga. Mindfulness is used to manage back pain loads, and both of those encourage that. What I'd also turn around and say is don't be afraid to hit the gym, but if you're a little bit uncertain, go and see an experienced personal trainer. They'll put you on the right path. There's loads of evidence to suggest that engaging in some form of strength and conditioning it's good for your golf, but more importantly, what we want to be able to do is improve function. Yeah. 
and make sure that person can continue to play for as long as Have possible. Have you got any uh, any websites, anything that you can recommend to the followers? Have a look down below, guys. So there's websites for two key charities in the UK. What I've also done is for our UK viewers, I've also put some nice guidelines on there as well. So those are the guidelines for how any medical professional in the United Kingdom should be treating back pain. They're there, they're free for everyone. And there's a couple of other little bits and bobs there. Feel free to have a look and also feel free to drop anything in the comments if you've got any questions. So to summarise what we've, we've discussed today, Richard, what would you, what would you recommend? Get out and play golf. Get out and play, enjoy your golf, get with your friends, enjoy the, enjoy the fresh air and the green grass and just get out and play golf. If you feel as though your golf swing is irritating you in any way or form, go and see your PGA professional. I've given you a small little inclination about what that's about today. But in reality, swing easy, swing free, and enjoy your golf, guys. Great. Thank you, Richard. Thank you for your time. Thanks Thank very you for much. Your Cheers. See you later, guys. Take it easy.